Cobra Dan, good day. This is Pagosa Red coming to you from Kresge Kromov in the Czech Republic. Today I am standing in front of the famous arch that connects the two sides of the castle together. So I'm going to take you on a little walk tour through part of the town and then we will go up to the castle and look around through there. The, uh, can't take any photos inside of the castle uh, on your tour, so you'll just have to come and see it for yourself. It's quite spectacular, uh, definitely worth the time, and it's about $8.50 to take the tour. It's about a 50-minute tour. Anyway, let's go for a walk. All right, just looking at the arch. The arch um, is massive. And up at the top, they have the walkway that connects the uh, two parts of the palace together. And the uh, story that I understand is that the top levels were for different levels of royalty only to go across them, and then they had a pecking order even there. So um, I'll try and remember to post uh, a link or something about the uh, arch on the, in the description. So let's go this way for our walk. We'll watch them coming across the um, water slide is what the best term that I have for it. This one's a pretty easy slide actually. They just kind of glide down and you can see that they, uh, they line up long ways in order to uh, go across it go down the slide <clears throat> you can get out if you want to <clears throat> pardon me and you can see you can walk down this way here and connect and come around if you don't want to go through the slide uh, this one's not that big of a deal but the um, some of them along the river they are really short and they just kind of take a, a dive and then you're, you're done. So these are better. Uh, I haven't tried my kayak yet, but I'm going to here pretty soon when I get back to Vichybrod, take it out for um, a, a cruise on the river and see how it does on the slides. I've been here since Monday it hasn't really been that busy but today's wednesday and it looks like that there's a lot of tour groups coming in to uh, go through the town but we're going to go for a little walk and then um, we'll take a little shortcut through town we'll go to the castle and we'll do some photo videoing up there Ahoy. Here's a pretty spectacular view for you right here. There again, the river is full of kayakers. That's the main tower, main part of the castle. We're going to do a little loop and come around and go up there. go down that way that's the way a lot of people go but we're going to take a little shortcut through here i'm not going to speed the video up 
you want to, you can, but uh, I just think there's a lot to see back in here and it, we'll just do it on normal speed. You will definitely get an idea of how spectacular this place is. This is going to be a quite a spectacular view here. That's part of the castle. The castle goes from there. was and then on around so it's a it's a big castle a little banjo picking going on over here he was out here yesterday he's actually pretty good side of the bridge. A restaurant down here. Have lunch on the water if you like. Actually, where I'm staying. I'll get the information and post it as well in the uh, thing. My room is up there at the top. I overlooked the square here. And right at this foot of the steps to the 
castle and we're gonna go walk this way. You can go around, which is a little longer, and then it's just a, there's no steps. It's just a climb up. Not really that steep, but still a climb. And when I get to the top, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, that's the other way up through the gates right there. As you can see, it's still up, but it's not stairs. All right, speaking of up, we're going to go up. Remember when we were down on the bridge, we were looking up at the castle. Well, now we're walking up to where the castle is. Tower. Czech Republic one time, probably when it was more called Czechoslovakia, uh, was known to have a lot of grizzly bear. From what I understand, there are still some here. In your tour, you understand why there's no grizzly bear hardly left because so many of my rugs on the floor of the palace. Anyway, um, they have one here that they keep in kind of a zoo, and we'll go see if he's out. Yep, he's... This is his... And there's one. He's going maybe over to the other side. And then maybe you can see that this one will go down here. Um, there. You can see him. So at least they do have two so that there's uh, companionship for them. It's very sad that they're here in the zoo, but I guess that's what zoos are all about, right? It's being able to see the animals that you can't normally see. He doesn't look happy today. side see if we can catch him over there the other one sure if that's the one that we saw earlier just came over and laid down or not but, uh, 
Anyway, they're here in this cage and they feed them all of that food, lots of vegetables, and then I guess the other animals, birds, whatever, take advantage of whatever they don't choose to eat. Okay. Here we are coming into the courtyard. And of course the courtyard is accented with the presence of the tower. Let's see if I can I guess the time of day I'm here, the sun is just kind of where it is, so we'll be, we'll see more of that even later, because we'll probably do a little more of a walk around the town uh, later. Maybe I'll add on to it, and I'll do it at night. Uh, the town is very spectacular at night, so I'll just tag a little walk through at night onto this video as well. See the side of the castle there. Fortunately, there is no taxi. And as you can see, this is a little bit of a climb. Now you know why. I can eat all the pastries I have been eating and not gain any weight. It's an open courtyard here in the castle. And this is where you come to take your tour. It's a little cooler in the tunnel. It's not bad today. Maybe 70, 75. But uh, about 60% humidity for sure. There's another courtyard, just like the one that we came out of a while ago. Very similar. This is usually where they drop you out. Remember when I started right up on the very top of that? Take a little peek up here at this side of the town. And then we'll come around here. 
my video might have a little sound distortion because it's getting windy. The weather has been off and on. Just like home. If it goes with the rain. Sunny. Cool. Rain. Sunny. Just have to be prepared for what it is. There's all these windows here, and from the best that I can figure, they were probably for archers to protect the castle. I don't know what other function they would have. As I said, town is busy. See if we can squeeze in a spot here. There you go. There's your amazing view from up here. And there's the castle starts all the way over there. The tower. And then swings all the way around. There again, the water with all the kayakers on it. So as you can see, it's just absolutely stunning here. So if you're wondering where to go for your next vacation, I would say the Czech Republic, Prague, and definitely Husky Krom. But if you come, make sure that you uh, land in Prague on a Sunday or a Monday and then go through the, the week because the weekends everything becomes even more busy like i said it's actually been pretty quiet here uh, monday and tuesday today's wednesday and you can see there's lots of groups that are just pouring in Let's go this way. I haven't been up here yet. I was up here the other day. I thought I'd wait to go up there whenever you're tagging along. So let's go see. You can see this is doable. This lady can do it. I'm sure you can do it. If 
or she needs a rest, which I can understand. I've gotten pretty good at this lately. So, I don't get quite as winded. And, uh, as having to rest as often. Okay. I'm not all sure what's here. Convention must be a group. Everybody's all dressed up. Everybody up there. So, we'll just kind of follow them in. Looks like there's a tourist area and a non-tourist area. Maybe we'll go up on the observation deck see what's happening there. Uh, appears to be some kind of a graduation. I think it's a private party, so I'm going to uh, disappear. Kind of interesting the different uh, clothes that people are wearing and the uh, way their graduation hats are. And that's about all the information I have, so rather than continue to crash the party, I'm going to disappear. Again, if you want to see how the, some of the Czech women dress up, see the fashion, you can certainly catch a lot of it right here. The Czech women have a tendency to wear a lot of dresses anyway. Uh, usually not quite this fancy, but just everyday attire, a lot of the women wear dresses. You actually see very little blue jeans on most people, maybe some tourists coming in from somewhere else. But I noticed around town and especially in Prague, you don't see very many jeans, maybe 15% of the men or women are wearing jeans. And I've only seen uh, four ladies in spandex since I've been here in two weeks. So I'm going to pause here and then we'll go down and connect with another part of town. We're at the bottom of the hill from the castle and we're going to go through the gates here in a minute and just go walk around through some curves through town. You can see there is WC means water closet, which is actually restroom. And then there's a little coffee shop here that's not open yet. So we'll go over and look at some of the prices. Um, you'll understand we've got both English and uh, maybe check it looks like different things there. So you can kind of see what those are. All right, so let's go through the gates and wind through town.
Lots of young people in town today. I'm gonna pause over here for a minute, see if I can catch this group of young people coming through so you can see what the teens look like. There you go. And what they wear. Oops, those are not teens anymore. Okay. So we'll pause here. We'll just kind of go slow and let this group move on ahead of us. Looks like a bunch of bikers will come into town. They're probably staying somewhere here in one of these rooms. Hopefully they're not going to fire back up yet. Well, it appears one of them is. I'm going to pause here and let this group get on down the road from us. I'm not really sure the significance of this building right there. I may be able to find out. Anyway, lots of people in town today. Like I said, they have not been here um, until today. Well, I guess the closer we get to the weekend, the busier it gets. We're just going to continue to scroll through town here. And uh, every now and then there's a car or vehicle or something because this is actually a drivable road. Anyway, here again, that's where I'm staying. I'm right up there in those rooms there on the left side. Say hi to my landlady. She's in here working. Oh, anyway, she might be upstairs. But you can see she's got lots of stuff. Hey, there he is. <laughs> How are you? Thank you. Ciao. Huh? Ciao. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, very good. No. I'm just uh, doing a little videotaping your shop. <laughs> no, so, so, and now you're on video. Hey, you're world famous now. Uh, so, anyway, so this is uh, the landlord that takes care of my room that's been so kind to drive me around and everything. So, we'll say hi and then we're going down the road. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. He's Vietnamese and he does not speak hardly any English at all. So he probably had no clue of what I was just saying. But super nice people, they have been so kind to me. We're back where we started from earlier. 
Let me show this particular view. But it never gets old, so it's always good to see it again. It's actually pretty easy to navigate through town, especially once you get the hang of it. Main road just kind of winds all the way through. Here we are coming into the town square. You can see things are under construction here. It's about uh, 12, 31 o'clock. Not sure right now here. That's where I ate last night, sat right at that table right there in the corner. Well, not last night, night before. Last night I actually cooked. Nothing spectacular, but it was food. And much cheaper than the uh, restaurants in the square. I find that the food prices in Kresge Klumov is actually higher in many ways than in Prague, but I haven't eaten at any restaurants really too far outside of the square, and I don't plan to on this trip, maybe the next time. This is kind of a neat quarter here, especially at night. continue down this way a little bit because there's a couple of spectacular views here as well. All right, where we want to go is right up here. We might have to pause a minute for this photographer and then we'll start again. Okay, sometimes you just have to wait your turn. So that's what we've done. 
And then here's the spectacular view of the church right up there. There's another one we'll take just around the corner as well. Got a young gal in the little dress. You see a lot of people, ladies, uh, wearing those. They're very popular. Usually a lot of this group is wearing shorts, the younger people, but a lot of times you see the kind of short dress, very lightweight, very airy, um, very pretty. So, and they appear to be, look to be comfortable. I haven't tried one on personally, but I would imagine they look that way, so. All right, we're gonna go across this bridge here, take a shot here, and then we'll be done for now. Um, like I say, I'll try and get into town tonight and pick up some, uh, sorry, trying to talk and video. We'll add some night shots, hopefully, to it. Here's the view that we came to see. I have a short video of the bell ringing at midnight. Maybe I'll tag it on to this video as well along with the night shots. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thanks for tagging along. We uh, hosked in. Have a great day.